First purchase of the day, ice cream. They only had the meat lovers left. Let's to the water show. Can you give me like the bread that you put into the box? Hey guys, so yesterday, um, after I got to the cathedral, my phone died. And I wasn't able to record afterwards. And I got to the hospital pretty late and then I decided to edit for the rest of the night. And I uploaded a video, so that's how I ended up my day. Today, I'm going to go to a couple different things. I have like a list of things I kind of want to do and I'm going to see what's closer. But first, I'm going to uh, drop off some laundry that I didn't drop off last time. I also need to get some breakfast, so it's already like almost close to 11. So breakfast definitely is on this. Hopefully I just don't keep passing by restaurants and not, not choose a place. I think the laundry place is pretty close to me. Alright, I feel like some like some uh, some ice cream. Alright, my first purchase of the day, ice cream. Uh, 10,000 key. Uh, there's this uh this shop that I keep seeing around town, so it must be it's a franchise. But for 10,000 keep. William Mary. Got me vanilla. And it's, it's pretty busy out here. Otherwise I'm gonna go straight. I don't know where I'm gonna go after that. It's green, I think. I think I can cross. I think. Almost got run over a few times. It's okay. So I came back to where they have Ho Chi Minh, the Ho Chi Minh uh, Museum, I would say. Um, but they're not letting anybody in. It's just I, people were waiting outside. Me thinking like they were, <clears throat> me thinking like they were lining up to go inside and and check uh, check it out because you can go in there and uh, see his dead body. Um, that's really well preserved uh, here, but you can't record. So I was, I was. I need to go in there, check it out, but it looks like it's closed today. I don't know if it's like only the weekends or... I also heard that they, they sometimes move his body to Russia to have him well uh, preserved uh, there and do maintenance on his body. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. All right, so I went to the Ho Chi Minh place and I thought I already had seen it, but I was wrong. There's a whole another area where like the actual museum split held at. But when I went, it was already closed. So it says it opens back up at two. I think I might've missed it a little bit because it says from eight to 12, but it was already closed at 11. So I'm gonna try to go back there again because I do want to go inside the museum. Um, now, I'm, I want to go see the water puppet show, but I was pretty hungry and uh, I ended up getting uh, some little pineapples. Uh, 20 kip, which is less, a little bit less than a dollar. So right now I'm just enjoying my pineapple in the park, taking a quick little break. I'm sweating a lot, so I got myself, I brought myself my bandana because I'm just dripping. Otherwise, I'd just be like a, a, a fountain. Again, I wish I had some like tapa, like tapatio or some salsa or something to add to it. Would have made it a lot better. All right. After being drenched, look at look how sweaty I am. Okay, after walking for like over an hour, I find the place for the water puppet show, and I should have looked it up at what time it starts because it doesn't start till five fifteen, and it's only twelve. So I came. It's closed. I went to the museum where they uh, for the Ho Chi Minh. The park was open where like you can walk and and buy things and just kind of like a scenery. But the main main uh, attraction was closed. What's going on today? What's going on today? But I get to enjoy this beautiful lake. That's the upside. That's the good side. And I've been doing a lot of photography. So I've been taking pictures. I've been just walking around, enjoying. Uh, ended up buying a couple of souvenirs. 
I keep looking at myself and I'm like, damn, it looks like I took a shower <laughs> in this lake right now. I just jumped in and just came out. But no, it's just so humid out here. And it's smoggy, so I'll be walking around and my eyes, like they get watery. And I'm like, nah. But yeah, I gotta enjoy the day. I just gotta enjoy the day. But, uh, oh, and I haven't eaten. Uh, the only things I've eaten so far is the ice cream that I got right at, right when I started walking. Uh, the pineapple, and now a monster. Those are the only things that, that's the only, those are the only things I've had today. And I think I'm running on just carbs or, or junk food right now and I'm okay. But yeah. Oh yeah, I finally shaved today. Yeah. I, I feel good now. So, finally found a place where to eat and I went basic again. But it's because I've been trying them in as many countries as I can. And that place is Domino's. And today, I was trying to get the pepperoni uh, lovers, but it didn't have that. They only had the meat lovers. Okay, trying out the crust, the cheese. Every country has different flavors. And so this is a, it's got the cheese, it's got pretty melted. Yeah, it was good. The only thing I'm missing, my little pocket Tabasco. I ran out and I haven't been able to find it anymore. But it was like the best idea ever. Today hasn't gone as planned. Like I haven't gone to see exactly what I wanted to see, but it's okay. I'm still having a blast. I'm uh, walking around, looking at things, enjoying the views, enjoying the noise. Honestly, it was good. The crust, crispy. The cheese is actually really good. I think it is mozzarella. Another thing that surprises me is that here the bread to be more flat normally when i go and get like a little personalized pizza the bread is like really thick and they barely spread any sauce or any cheese on it but this thing is loaded honestly the dominoes here in hanoi i rate this a solid eight bomb definitely come here again when i come back to vienna i'm not gonna try it again I tried it once and that's good enough Mmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't want to drop it. But yeah. Definitely good. Alright, so right now I'm waiting to for the start of the water show. I actually ended up uh, just kinda walking around and ended up uh, making a new friend. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, ended up making a new friend. Uh, he first started off as a, he introduced himself if I wanted a tour, and then we started talking more. And it turns out he's he was in the U.S. Uh, and lived in Kansas City and went to college there. And uh, as we were talking, um, uh, how you call it? He was telling me about what things have I tried and stuff like that. And uh, he was telling me about the Vietnamese uh, uh, liquor. And so we went to the market and he showed me which ones to get and uh, I got this uh, vodka Hanoi which is made out of 100% rice he says. And then I also got another one. Uh, this one's called uh, men's vodka, you know. Uh, <laughs> but it's also made 100% from rice and uh, uh, apple. So. I got those. Uh, he recommended, and then he recommended me a dessert that is also famous in Vietnam. I'm not sure what they are, but this is what he was telling me about. It was pretty cool. Um, uh, he was also recommending me where I should go have fun. He was telling me the difference between the pho from the North Vietnam and the South Vietnam. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, we're talking about beer too. And so I went and got myself a couple beers. I got myself this Saigon Lager. Yeah. I yeah. like yeah. Me too. <laughs> and there's Via Ha Noi. Uh, it's also from uh, here from Vietnam. And I want to try them right now. Because I'm waiting for the show and I'm like, I want to kind of try a beer out and go enjoy the show afterwards. I got my ticket. It looks like they were almost sold out. So I'm glad I got here an hour before the show started. Um, there's only like 40 minutes left for the show to start. But let's try 
the Via Saigon first. I'm gonna try probably the other one after off camera, but um, cheers to you guys. Mm, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Right now on this humid day, I'm all sweaty and a cold beer. Perfect. I really don't drink much, but I gotta try these out, right? I gotta try out uh, some Vietnamese beer. Taking those back home. I'm probably not gonna be drinking on the on the road. But those are probably more more gifts. So my phone's about to die, but I made it to the water show. I take pictures with this. <laughs> Place I came the other day. This one gave me like this bread that you put into the box. Let it soak a little bit. Mm, so good. Today was a good day. Um, I'm finishing it off with just eating some pot. Um, mm, this is amazing. And then the bread. Oh. You let it soak for just a little bit, get some soggy. Oh. I did the same thing, I put some, you know, some peppers, some more lime, put some sauce. And this one she poured some of this. I think it's pepper. So add some pepper to that. And it's amazing. Definitely recommend. I give this a solid eight. 8.5 It's a uh, foga, which is chicken So if you come here, I recommend it If you come to Hanoi, you gotta try this place out I'll make sure I take the video from the outside That way you know where it's at And I'll see if I can uh, put the address below But definitely recommend And 